sure by now you've heard of the term hustle culture, the socially accepted lifestyle of spending every waking minute pursuing your career related goals in an effort to become more successful, quit the nine to five, retire young, and buy that yacht you've dreamed about your whole life before sailing off into the sunset. For <laughs> Family time won't get you there, hobbies, well that's now a thing of the past, and spending time with friends is only a distraction from the mission you've set out for yourself. This can be a pretty addictive mindset to fall into, and we're fed with the glorified acceptance of it every single day through social media, but is it something we should be continuing to celebrate, or is it actually having a negative impact? Let's start right there. Immediately do that. Work your face off for the next year. Hunt everything leisure right now. Do that. That's just a good idea. I've definitely felt the effects over the last 18 months of this hustle culture mentality. 18 months ago, I quit my job and I began a career of self-employment and I really followed the advice of guys like Grant Cardone and Gary Vee, the whole hustle mentality, sleep when you're dead, work your butt off, and that's exactly what I did, but only just recently I've started to gain some negative characteristics from that and I really thought I'd touch on that in today's video. Three negative characteristics. I want to talk about a breaking point as well that took place for me over the last couple of weeks and then four things that I've put in place to try and gain a bit more of a balanced lifestyle. It's kind of sad to admit, but over the last 18 months, my whole life has focused around two key metrics, and that is how many people are watching my YouTube videos and how many sales is my eBay store generating. I found that I would stay up really late at night working on ways to improve my click-through rate and my audience retention, and then I'd go out during the day to find items that I could sell on my eBay store and sit up late at night listing them all up to sell. And really all of that came to the detriment of my own personal health. I found that I stopped going to the gym, I stopped running. These are things that I would normally do and really enjoy when I had a nine to five job. And also then developed the coronavirus. And then from that, I also developed shingles as well, which kept me out of action for six weeks. And I've never picked up the running in the gym since I've started to feel a little bit better. But I know that all of that is stemmed from just simply working too hard. My priorities have changed and my mental health and my physical health has copped it. So going into business and working for myself, there was definitely some long-term goals there for me to be able to achieve some financial freedom. I really wanted to spend more time with family and friends and also have the time to focus on my hobbies and my passions. They are the important things in my life. And if you have a look at a pie chart when I had a nine to five job, you will see that there was that healthy balance. There was work, there was family, friends, relationship and hobbies. But if you have a look at the pie chart now, today, over the last 18 months, well, yeah, it's pretty much all occupied by work. And that's a true reflection of the way things have been. And I definitely don't think I've tackled things the right way. Yes, there is an element of grind when you're first starting out and you're trying to build a business, but that doesn't need to be the detriment of all the important things in life. And I was too focused on those small key metrics and I wasn't focusing on the big picture of the important things in life. I've personally always had the belief that those that do best in business are the innovators, they're the creators, they are doing things a little bit differently and you really kind of need the time to, to kind of sit back and work on those sorts of things and I've definitely not had that myself. eBay, you can't really be, I guess, too creative, it is the way that it is, but YouTube, that is complete creativity. And if you guys have been watching this channel for a while now, you'll have noticed that I've been putting out my, my grind of three videos every single week. I'm always gonna do that. But I have not by design, I've got into a repetitious pattern of just posting the same three videos a week. It's a what sold Tuesday, a trip to the thrift Thursday, a flea market Sunday. And like I said, that's not by design, that is by a lack of creativity. I need to be thinking about the best videos that I can bring you guys, having the time to sit back and actually work on those videos rather than the grind and the hustle of just pumping out as much as I possibly can. So I guess the hustle mindset, it's definitely lost my creativity and I really need to get that back if I wanna be successful. My breaking point came a few weeks ago. I decided to commit to a three hour road trip to collect an item I thought would do really well for my eBay business. Until an hour into the road trip, my car broke down. I've always valued time as the most important currency and this breakdown would cause me to lose an entire day's worth of work. So I've checked the water. The water seems to be fine. There seems to be plenty in there. And I've also checked uh, the oil. And that seems to be fine as well. So we might have to just get RACQ out to have a look. 
see what they think. It ended up taking seven hours to complete the entire day, getting it to RACQ, a mechanic checking the vehicle, and before I could actually be able to take it home. And yet it was a really pivotal day. For the first time in a long time, I had no choice but to sit back and reflect and have a think about how I was truly feeling, have a think about those hustle culture, um, I guess negatives that were affecting my life and, and really put a few things in place and think up a few different ways that I could improve my situation and gain back that balance in life because I wasn't feeling great that day, not because the car was having some troubles, but for everything else that I've spoken about so far in today's video. So I look back on this day as a real turning point. Oh, geez, hey. <laughs> I remember hearing somebody say, if you want to go fast, you can go alone, but if you want to go further, you should be doing it together. And that's going to be a massive focus for me over the next few months. I really need to start outsourcing some tasks that I don't need to be spending any time on. These medial tasks, like postage, doing listings for my eBay store, they are very administrative type tasks that really anybody can do. And that can put me into the focus of things like YouTube and creating and editing videos, which is also what my passion is about. So I've really realized that I'm sort of capping at my workload capacity right now. I need to start outsourcing to allow me to free up some time to get that pie chart that we spoke of back into shape. <laughs> I've always said one of the best things about working for yourself is the fact that you don't have a boss. There's no clock in, clock off box to have to worry about, no roster that you have to keep on top of. You simply run your own show. And with that, you can set your own boundaries. My issue was that I never set any boundaries. I just worked the entire time. So over the last couple of weeks, I've really tried to adopt a five o'clock finish at the end of my work day. And I've really found that that's been a great opportunity to go to the gym and to go for runs and, and to catch up with friends and family. So from here on in, I'm really gonna try and make five o'clock the end of my work day. And that will hopefully reduce the hours and allow me to be a little bit more efficient throughout my day. Over the last 18 months, you could pretty much count the amount of days that I've had off on my two hands. I've probably had 10 days off over the last 18 months and I've really felt the effects of that and a little bit of burnout over the last couple of months. So moving forward, I have been looking to take Saturdays off on a weekly basis and that has been having just a dramatic effect on my productivity and efficiencies throughout the week, knowing that that day off is coming. And I really do think I should have implemented that a long time ago. But when you're a one-man band and you're running your own show, you literally have to do every single task. And that is very time consuming. And eBay and YouTube is almost an everyday thing. So I found it really difficult to try and take that Saturday off. And I am forcing myself to take it regardless of where I'm at. But I am already seeing a huge difference. So I think it's going to be something that I continue to implement. <laughs> I know that there are a number of tasks that I'm not the most efficient in. If it's a task that might take me an hour, I know that I could streamline that to get it done in 40 minutes. And I'm really gonna stress on that over the next few weeks to try and improve all of my key business areas to make sure that when I'm doing it, I'm doing it in the quickest, best, most productive workflow possible. It might take me a weekend to put those processes in place, but I'm gonna focus on making sure that I do that so that when that Saturday day off comes around, I've actually got all of my tasks ticked off and I'm not nervous about taking a day off. <laughs> So do I think that hustle culture is toxic and we all shouldn't be trying to adopt it? Well, no, I, I definitely still see the benefit of it and I see why people do do it and have really good success from it. I think it's just a case of self-assessing where you're at and how you're feeling about things. And while it is impressive to be pushing through and working all the crazy hours, I don't think that's the most healthy thing to be doing. I think the biggest key takeaway from this video today is that knowing it's okay to grow slow and that should actually be your mindset. Whatever you're doing, if you're doing the long hours, you're basically knowing that you're in it for the long haul. And I think the best way to go about it mentally is to think that this is a marathon and not a sprint and it's okay to grow slow. So appreciate you tuning in guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Bit of a different video for me today, but that's part of the creativity push that I'm trying to do with these videos. Think differently, create better content and hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you being here. We'll see you soon.